Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about movement of inertia. First of all, we will consider that when a body of mass m is moving in a circular path having radius r, it will make an angle theta with the axis of rotation. First of all, when force is applied in this direction, then our, our, tangential, our tangential acceleration will produce. When a body of mass m having some acceleration or some, uh, initially it is at rest when force is applied then it will accelerate in the form of circular motion so f we know the relation is f is equal to ma so this body is moving in a circular path so this is a tangential acceleration because tangential force is applied is per perpendicular to the radius of the circle so we know the uh, relation of tangential acceleration is equal to uh, acceleration uh, is equal to r into alpha. r is the radius of a circle and alpha is a uh, circular or angular acceleration. We know this relation and if we put this relation in the uh, relationship of force, we will find the value of force f is equal to m, r and alpha. So uh, we are dealing with angular motion. So this is angular acceleration. We need to uh, uh, de describe in the expression of angular velocity this is angular acceleration so the uh, formal formula for angular acceleration is equal to r omega this angular acceleration is related to angular velocity with respect to r radius of the circle when body is moving in a circular path so uh, the final expression for force is equal to uh, m r and this alpha is replaced by r omega into r omega so if we multiply this r and this r the final term will be f is equal to m r square into omega so conclusion in conclusion we will write in the form of final term f is equal to m r square into omega so in the circular motion when a force tangential force applied on the body then we will get this relation m r into alpha or if we multiply this force by radius r then we will get the torque because angular motion produces torque uh, we will multiply r on both sides r alpha and if we multiply this the rf becomes torque ta is equal to m r square into alpha it means that when force is applied on a body it produces torque and it produces an angular acceleration and m r square is a moment of inertia so torque is equal to m r square into alpha or ta is equal to i alpha and this is a circular motion or if we uh, relate in the translation motion or linear motion we will find that f is equal to m into a we, uh, in the linear motion force is applied on a body and in the circular motion torque is produced and uh, acceleration is identical with angular acceleration because, because this is a linear motion or uh, translation motion and this is an angular motion and finally this uh, moment of inertia is totally related to mass so it is concluded that uh, the mass in linear motion plays the same role that inertia is an angular motion furthermore we will consider that uh, for a rigid body having a lot of moment of inertia we will find the total moment of inertia of that body or total torque on that body when a lot of moment of inertia or a lot of masses uh, on a rigid body are present. For example, we will take a random body and uh, it, uh, from the axis of rotation many masses are produces or it has many masses. First of all this is m1 or this is m2 or this is m3. Every body is moving with a circular path having radius r uh, respective radius r1 uh, along with m1 r2 along with m2 and r3 along with m3 we need to calculate the total moment of inertia of 
So the expression of tau in, in the form of angular motion is tau is equal to I alpha for body M1 it will produce tau 1 tau 1 is equal to I1 into alpha 1 so this I1 we can uh, say that tau 1 is equal to M1 R1 square alpha 1 similarly for body 2 the tau will be T2 is equal to M2 R2 square alpha 2 uh, in addition for all the tau's, uh, the for similarly for tau three of body M uh, M three, the tau three will be T three M three R three square and alpha three. We will find the total torque. Total torque is equal to sum of all the torques T one plus T two plus T three and so on T n. The total torque will be. Uh, I1 into alpha 1 plus I2 into alpha 2 plus I3 into alpha 3 and so on. In addition we see that uh, every body is moving in a circular path but it is a rigid body. This is a rigid body uh, but the total acceleration of that body will, re will remain same and this acceleration, acceleration 2, acceleration 3 of second body and third body respectively will be the same or will be uh, initial acceleration or angular acceleration the total acceleration will be the same in addition we will uh, only deal with uh, moment of inertia of each body so total track is equal to uh, I1 into I2, I1 plus I2 plus I3 and so on into alpha because the angular acceleration remains same for the whole rigid body uh, without considering the angular acceleration for every body. So the total torque will be is, is equal to sum of all the moment of inertias I is equal to from 1 to 0 and I alpha. So this is a total torque with respect to moment of inertia or if we open this we will find, find total torque is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n m i r i square into alpha or you can say this is i alpha tau is equal to i alpha this is a total torque with respect to all the bodies uh, working separately but within the rigid body the whole acceleration or angular acceleration of rigid body will remain same. Up till now we have finished about the moment of inertia and we discuss about uh, their derivation. In addition moreover we can find the uh, units and dimension of linear acceleration it will be uh, we will find the units and dimension of moment of inertia for this i is equal to m r square the units will be the units of mass is kilogram or the units of r is meter it will be meter square so as a unit will be kilogram meter square but the dimension of this inertia will be uh, the dimension of kilogram comes from mass dimension of uh, meter come from length l square so these are the dimension of moment of inertia. Up till now we have finished about uh, moment of inertia of a rotational body. Uh, we will finish uh, here in the form of uh, description, derivation and units. Uh, if you like my video you can contact me on my email address or you can subscribe my channel for more videos. See you in the next video. Bye bye.